for the nether level. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My hair is wild. I had a busy day. I um, worked today. I didn't vlog in the morning, but I did work today. And then after work, I went to my parents' house and I picked up some stuff. And I'll show you that stuff probably in a bit. And then I went to my sister's house and picked up some other stuff and her cats because I am watching her cats while she has like showings for her house because she's selling her house. So. I am watching them. Oh, I had so much stuff. So I just finished eating. When I was at my parents, they gave me cabbage rolls that their neighbor made for them. So I just heated them up and had them for supper, which I'm very happy about because I didn't have to cook. Um, and Freedom's not home tonight. He should be home tomorrow evening. So yeah, I'm glad that I didn't have to cook for just one person. It's kind of hard um <clears throat> not hard but like unmotivating and also I'm not used to it so like cooking just for one person person the portions I don't know especially because I never eat like a consistent amount I'm never like oh I'm gonna have a bunch of this sometimes I have a lot of something sometimes I have like a teeny tiny bit of something so I don't know I'm currently watching friends um as you can see Rex is right there as you can see. Bubba, Rexy boy. Oh, handsome. What do you think a handsome guy? And I am procrastinating because I don't want to shovel. I know I need to shovel and I am gonna get dressed and shovel. Oh, sorry about the angle. I am gonna get dressed and shovel so that's what I'm gonna go do and then maybe when I come in I'll have like hot chocolate and show you guys what I got from my mom's house. that's it I work again tomorrow obviously <laughs> the rest of the week and I also wanted to do um <clears throat> a workout tonight I haven't done a workout in a while like an actual workout not just like I mean I cleaned a lot which can honestly count as a workout but I haven't done like an intentional workout in a really long time like two weeks so I do want to get do a workout. I was thinking I would do one of the ballet workouts, so I'm hoping to do that. And then I wanted to do um, my German lessons. So I'm I use two apps. Uh, one is called Pimsleur, and my brother-in-law told me about it. It's fantastic. I am on lesson I think eight or nine now. <clears throat> it's so good it teaches you the language and it I don't know just how it's set up is really cool and it also gives you like it'll ask well okay so you start off listening to the conversation in the language that you're trying to learn so in my case German and then it breaks down the conversation and you repeat back um which is nice and then you listen to it again once you've like done the the lesson at the very end of the lesson you listen to the conversation again and throughout the lesson we'll ask you questions and give you a second to answer in that language and then um you guess or if you don't know you wait and then it'll tell you the correct answer so that's nice i was worried about pronunciation but then there's this section on the app where you record your your voice into it and it'll say like it'll rate it so I think it's like fair good great or excellent or something um which is I love that and then there's like um what else is there a speed round where you click the correct so it'll like a sentence will fall kind of like 
Tetris, the sentence will fall, and then um, it'll be like, hi, how are you? Like a sentence. And then you have to click the correct words to say, hi, how are you? For my case, again, in German, which is super cool. And then I think there's like, um, yes, yeah, so there's pronunciation and then pronunciation, there's practice and then there's challenge. So you can practice it as many times as you want and then you can challenge it. So then it doesn't tell you, it'll just say, say, how are you? And then you have to say it in that language and it doesn't have it written on the screen. I don't know. Love the app. It's like over 20 bucks a month, but I really want to learn German. And so I am. So I like that. The second app is Duolingo. And that one I really like for um, writing. So a lot of it is like typing, writing, there's a little bit of speaking, but so far it's just been like typing and writing and a tiny bit of speaking. Um, so I've been really liking that so that not only can I like understand, not only can I like converse, speak and understand it, but I'll also be able to type or write and read it, which is really cool. So that I wanna do, I really need to shovel, so I'm just gonna get up and get going on shoveling. Then I'm gonna come back, show you guys what I picked up from my mom's house. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's 6.30, so I'll see ya when I see ya. constantly a mess. I just can't even deal with it anymore. Um, I will never showed you yesterday what I picked up from my mom's house. So I'm going to show you right now before I take Rex out. Um, yesterday I did not end up doing, uh, my German lesson, but I did end up doing ballet after shoveling. Uh, today I worked. If you hear that, that's my cat trying to get into the cupboard where I used to keep her treats, but no longer do. So um, yesterday I worked, not yesterday, oh my gosh, today I worked, um, and then I came home and I actually got supper in the oven right away because I made lasagna and I knew Freedom would be home 
late and I just wanted to get out of the way so now he can just heat it up when he gets home. Um, and then I, what did I do? I was listening to podcasts, so just like in my last vlog, I li um, on Tuesdays I listened to Candace Cameron Bure and the Opposite Twins or Nikki and Gabby, so I listened to those podcasts. And then I just did my German lessons on Pimsleur. For some reason, the voice coach isn't working right now, so I'm kind of annoyed with that, but that's okay. I'll give it a little bit and then I'll try again. It's 11 phrases, so because I like to completely do the entire lesson before I move on to the next one. And then um, when I had a free minute at work, I actually did my duo lingo, lingo um, German like writing kind of lessons. So yeah, that's what I just finished. It is almost six o'clock. I'm just about to take Rex for a walk and then I'm going to, I was thinking about doing my, my doing ballet again, um, but we'll see. So, what I got for my mom is just vintage cookbooks. This one is Kenmore Microwave Cooking. And yes, that's a chicken on the front. Is that not kind of concerning? Like, I don't know. It's from Sears. It's like, there's literally meat for the microwave, which is wild to me. Um, but it's vintage. I thought it was cool. Then this one, this is Holy Cross Lutheran Church Congregational Cookbook from 1992. So I got that one. This has some good recipes I was looking in there. I'm like, hmm. Like, I just opened it to one and it says lemon squares, chocolate marbled brownies. Like, that sounds good. This Kenmore kitchen one, uh, the first one that I showed you. So this one. Is from 1981. Is where this one's from. Um, then I have Betty Crocker's Cake and Frosting Mix Cookbook which I'm very excited for this one. I have no idea what year this one is. 1966, first edition, 1966. Third printing. I don't know, I can, the only year I see on here is 1966. I'm really excited to try cakes from this one. So excited. Um, I'll just open to a random page and show you one. Look at that one. That one says gift wrapped cake. How cute is that? So I'm excited about this book. This one is kind of terrifying. <laughs> oh, my stack of books. This one's party cakes for all occasions. Um, and this one is from 1990. And there's some really cool ones in here. So I'm excited about that. The Everything College Cookbook. I didn't know I grabbed this one, but I'm sure there's like decent recipes in here. Otherwise I might donate this one, but they gave me that one. This really old cool whip thing was in, uh, it was a placeholder in one of the books. Then this home basics, this is from 2005. Nope, 2000, sorry. No, wait, hold on a second. Yes, it is 2005. And this is actually so funny because it is, um, it was addressed to my grandma. You can maybe see. So I have that. There is a couple recipes in here, but mostly I just like that it has her name on it and her old address. Um, then my mom gave me a bunch of photocopies. She said she has no idea where they're from. It's a bunch of like multiples, so we'll have to go through. But she gave me those. Then I have Saskatoon Safeway Telemiracle, Volume 2, 1997. This one, this is from 1997. Um, off the Record Health Record Department from RUH, the hospital. And this one is also from 1997, as you can see. So, oh, but I didn't show you the cover. 
that one. Um, this one is Home Care, 25 Years of Caring, Caring Cuisine, Silver Anniversary Cookbook, 1981 to 2006. Um, so I'm interested. Oh, and the first one I opened, Casserole Slow Cookers. I'm interested in that one. This one I was really excited about, um, Companies Coming. I've seen these books, or these, uh, yeah, cookbooks in places, and just the front of them looks so pleasant and old. <laughs> So that's this one and this one I'll have to find the year on this one I honestly don't know 1999 second printing March 1999 so that's this one what of 90s <laughs> And then this last one I'm very happy about because I found actually one of um, my grandma's recipes in it. It was marking a page. And um, bread pudding is what was in it. And it just made me happy to see her writing. Um, so yeah, and this big book, this is huge. Like it literally feels like the Book of Shadows from <laughs> Charmed. This big one is the Encyclopedia of Creative Cooking. Oh my gosh. So you can see, sort of. And this one. Uh, 1982 edition. So this one's 1982. So yeah, that's what I got. This one, I'm like, meh. I was showing the year for the Shaw College, whatever one. I don't even know. I'm going to assume it's like 2000 something. 2005 is this one. Um, all these other ones I'm really excited about, specifically the Encyclopedia of Creative Cooking this one I'm super excited about um, and companies coming <clears throat> oh and actually probably cake and frosting mix cookbook very excited about this one pictures just gorgeous amazing for tea for, there's like there's wedding cakes in here it's so cool so yeah and now I'm gonna go take Rex. It's six o'clock. I showed you finally what I got from my parents' house and I'm going to take Rex for a walk and then I'm gonna come back and hopefully do ballet if I still feel motivated, which I hope I do. Okay, see you then. So I did um, my ballet, my German lesson, um, I walked Rex. So I actually woke up um, a lot last night. I did not have a good sleep, which is unfortunate, but I didn't. And then um, I yesterday had like a little bit of congestion and then today I have congestion and my throat hurts and I had a headache 
but I also had like really bad dreams last night and kept waking up so I feel like that could be why but I've been having some tea with honey and it's been helping my throat but it's not like like the sickness is it sick I don't I wouldn't say I'm sick but like the cold I guess that I have I don't feel 100% but I also don't feel like I need to not go to work or not do my goals um so yeah I keep looking at the window because a bright light but is it snowing oh no but it's just a car um yeah it's just about seven yeah five minutes to seven I if you can hear that noise in the background that's my tea so I'm making a tea I'm probably gonna make our lunches while that my tea cools down a little bit and then I'm gonna watch friends I'm hoping freedom will be home soon and then just kind of relax the rest of the day tomorrow I'm very excited because this whole week is actually quite not the whole week but I guess this week I've got some fun stuff going on in this vlog <clears throat> so tomorrow we're going to the Matt Dust concert with uh, my sister and her husband and I'm very excited because we Matt Dusk I believe would be my first concert I ever went to Freedom took me the day before he left for his military training um see what is that flashing light weird um okay anyways he took me to Matt Dusk the day before he left for the military and this was like years ago I don't even know how many years ago now three four three or four I think um so yeah we're going back we do that tomorrow uh evening and then also before Matt desk I have a massage right after work so I'm really looking forward to my massage and the Matt desk would be so fun and then um, on Saturday, I have a work event, so I'll get dressed up for that. Um, yeah, and then on Sunday, me and my mom are going to the Nutcracker Ballet, and I'm so excited for, excuse me, I'm so excited for that. My first time ever going to a live ballet. And seeing the Nutcracker live, obviously. But I saw the Nutcracker for the very first time this year. Well, I've saw I've seen like bits and pieces of it here and there, but I mostly ha like haven't really paid complete attention. And then this year I did, and I became obsessed with it. And I want and I wanted to go. My mom said she'd go with me, and so I'm really excited. So tomorrow I have massage and Matt Dusk. Um, so massage and a concert and then um, on Saturday I have my work event and then on Sunday the Nutcracker Ballet and I'm so excited. So I'm going to go make our lunches before I forget and then I'm going to watch probably a couple episodes of Friends and then chill until I go to bed. I might see you later, I might not. Um, but I, I'm hoping, I hope, I hope you're liking these vlogs if you're watching them. And yeah, because I'm enjoying vlogging actually. It's kind of like not super strict or anything. It's really chill, kind of at my own pace and just, it's cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go make lunches now for real.